go ahead and press on text and type out what you want it to say. Once that's done, go up to where it says offset. Now this is being done on a desktop and it is still in beta, which means it's kind of finicky. They're still working on it. But as you can see here, it creates that outline, that offset or shadow effect. So over here, you can change the decimal point. I like to change it to a little bit smaller so it's not as thick. So I'm gonna change it to 15. And you can also change it so the lines are more straight or more curved. There's also the option to weld the offsets together or keep them separate. So go ahead and choose what you like. These are the settings I like. I like the curve, so it really follows it. I like to keep this on and I normally do it at about 0.15. Make sure you select apply because if you just hit enter on the keyboard, it will delete, disappear, and you have to go again. There we go. The offset automatically goes to black. You can see it here in the layer panel as well. So what I like to do for my offset is normally change it to a white. It's gonna be hard to see on the white background here, but now you can see how that's done. If you want a thicker offset that just covers the entire thing, you can also do that. And then instead of making it as small as mine, you can make it a little bit larger. So I'm even gonna do another offset behind the offset. You see that? And let me, oh, see, I didn't press enter properly and then it deleted. So that kind of worked out. Okay, so now you can see the bigger offset that I just created, and now I have two, and this is the shadow background. So it's different layers, actually, and you can layer them yourself later with vinyl or cardstock. If you do want to fill it in, like this little part here, there's a little trick, because sometimes the letters will be um, have cutouts in it. Like, let me show you the this one would be a good one to show you, because on the E as well. So what you're going to do is go down to where it says contour. Once you've selected the layer that you want to kind of edit, and this contour one is where you can remove parts. So you can select it manually, or you can just hit hide all contours, and that's going to essentially fill in all of it. So when you exit, now all filled in, and we're ready to go. So if you like that effect, that's the little trick to get it all filled in. And that's how you create your shadow, your outline, or offset. Again, this is being done on a desktop computer, and it is just in beta, so, Sometimes not every version of Cricut Design Space will have it. It really depends, but make sure you're on the updated version and follow for more Cricut tips. Happy crafting.